All right, AP Chem Extension number one. We're going to talk about double unit conversions. So before you even try this, make sure you have the single unit ones done and mastered. Done a lot of practice with that. These, again, are some things that you could potentially see if you take AP Chem. So if you're not planning on AP Chem, don't worry about it. If you're thinking, well, maybe I will, try it. If it's too complicated, you can keep working with it. Ask questions. Come see me. But just remember, guys, this is a topic that you're not going to see on the Regents exam, so it shouldn't be your focus right now. So what's different about double units is in the other problems that we did, the single unit ones, in our T-chart, and that just messed up. In our T-chart, we had the number one below it, okay, nothing else. Now, though, notice how our unit here, we have 55 miles per hour. Remember, that per means a fraction. So this is really miles over hours. So now what we would have to start out is 55 miles per one hour. Okay, and we're trying to get to how many meters will we travel in 20 minutes. So this is a much more difficult problem. Okay, so if we we're going to write out our final, our final, um, uh, excuse me, our final uh, unit, it would be meters per 20 minutes. Okay, that's kind of the way to think about it. So, we're going to do this the exact same way. However, we're going to do one unit at a time. So what I want you guys to do, I don't have any way to kind of do this, so I'm just going to do it with a different color. Okay, I'm going to cover up one of my units. Whether it's miles or hours, I'm going to cover up one first, then I will come back to it. So for me, I'm going to just kind of cover that one up. I'm going to focus on getting miles to meters. That's going to be my first step. Okay, and that's going to be the same way as we just learned. So miles would, oops. Miles is going to go on the bottom. And to get to meters, well, you got to kind of do a little bit of, you know, research, because I didn't give you the conversion factor. But one mile equals 1,609 meters. So we can put meters on the top. Okay, so it would be 1,609, one mile. Miles are gone. Boom. There, now we have our meters. Okay, so we're almost there. But remember, I'm going to remove that purple blot that I had. I also had per hour. So now if I take a look at my units, I have meters on the top per one hour. We're trying to get to how many meters in 20 minutes. Okay, so we've got to go from hours to minutes. Now you might be thinking, well, how am I going to do this? Okay, I've got this other big thing in my way. So now ignore this fraction, okay? We're going to skip over it. We've done this already. We don't need to worry about it. That one's set. We'll come back to do the math with it. So we're going to skip over this fraction, and we're just going to focus on our new one. So ours was on the bottom in our first fraction. So in order to cancel it out here, it's the opposite, where normally we're used to having our top one first, then it goes on the bottom. Well, guys, this, the opposite's true. If we have one in the bottom, the top would cancel it out then. So hours, and then we're going to have one hour, and minutes on the bottom, 60 minutes. Okay, you with me so far? So we've got meters on the top and minutes on the bottom. So when we do this, we would get 1,475 meters over one minute. Okay, so that's really close to what our um, unit would want to, what we'd want to be, right? So really, when you take a look at this problem, this is what separates AP from Regents Chem, okay? You're really just looking for meters, okay, in 20 minutes. But when we look at our conversion factor, we have meters on the top and minutes on the bottom. We've got to cancel out minutes. How would we do that? Multiply by minutes, right? Because that would be like, okay, if I'm going to multiply by another fraction, I can put a one placeholder there. Minutes would be gone. Well, how many minutes do I have? I've got 20 minutes. So now that minute unit is gone, and I'd be left with meters. So 1475 times 20 minutes. All right, my final answer I would get would be 29,498 meters. All right, 
much more complex, right? But this is the first introduction to what AP Chem is like. It takes it to the next step. So if you're thinking about it, you don't need to master this right now, but you want to be familiar with it, okay? So these AP Chem extensions are things you want to be familiar with, knowing that, hey, I could see them in my future. So what I'd encourage you guys to do is to try the next problem and then come back for the solution. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to erase this a little bit. Candy costs $5.99 per pound. How many grams of candy can you buy with $10? So kind of work your way through this. So I've got, or I know that $5.99 per one pound, LB for pound, okay? So I wanna get, I know I have $10, okay? But I wanna get to grams. So I need to go from pounds to grams. So one pound is up on top, if you look up here, Okay, you've got 454 grams in one pound. Pounds are gone. So now we have 0 0.0132 dollars over grams. Probably many of you who are trying this probably got that. Awesome. But now you might be noticing, hey, grams is what I want, but it's on the bottom. So what do, how do I do that? So guys, what we need to do here is we need to flip this fraction. We've taken the, what's called the reciprocal. So we need to be able to get grams on the top. So what we're going to do, okay, by flipping that, this is saying that there's $0.0132 per one gram. So if we're gonna do this, we gotta flip it. So we get one gram divided by $0.0132. So do the math now. When you do the math, guys, you would get 75.8 grams per dollar. Well, how many dollars do we have? We've got ten dollars. Multiply by that to cancel it out. My answer went right up here. So your final answer, guys, would be 758 grams. Again, this is an AP thing. Be aware of it. There's extra practice in the AP extension binder, but don't make this be your focus, okay? Master the single stuff first, then worry about this. And again, you're not going to see this on the regents or anything. It's just there.